And today I want to share a little of my story so that you understand the kind of transformation that I want for you in the Confidence Boost Retreat. Not to say that what took me years is going to take you only three days, but there are definitely shortcuts and this is what I want to share with you. Um, the kind of transformation that's possible through uh, life coaching tools and doing the inner work and working with a photographer is like something that can like it can really transform your life in those three days and it's a condensed of the things that i've had to learn that took me a long time because i was looking for the right people i didn't even know i had the right to work with the right people so anyway, the kind of transformation that I want for you is the kind of transformation that I have experienced myself. And I will not tell you all the details, it doesn't really matter, but I was extremely shy. I Basically, I thought that I didn't have the right to live or to exist. Like I was here on the planet and it was already a huge, honor that was given to me that I had the right to watch other people live their life. It's as if there was like a glass or a window and I could watch through the glass and see other people enjoy life and that was like the maximum that was allowed to me and even that I didn't deserve it. Uh, but some people around me were like so generous that they gave me the right to watch other people live their life. So that's how I really felt like that. Like I was, um, I was functioning. I could go to school. I was like the, the super nice, gentle student that has the best grades all the time. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't speak in class. She doesn't voice any opinion. She's nice to everyone. She's helping everyone. She's pleasing everyone. Basically, she only exists for others. That's the person I was, and. At the same time, there was something in me that I didn't have words for that, but I could feel it like this thing within me that is stronger than anything. And that is the reason why I'm still alive. And that is the reason why I do what I do today. It's like the life force within me that was telling me you can do so much more than that. You can live. You actually have the right to live, not just survive or not just be hidden in a corner and watch other people live. You can live your own life and you can live it big like really, really big. So that thing, it has always been within me and that's the light and the fire that has been guiding me all the time. Without that, I would not be here anymore, that's for sure. And it has taken me through my journey and the different transformations and it keeps, I mean, it's never gonna stop and that's the beauty of it. And step by step, like I realized that actually I have the right to be part of the people who live, like who enjoy their life. It's allowed to me, like there's no good reason. If, if, you, if you look for a good reason why someone would not deserve a good life, there is no good reason for that. There are only the reasons that we absorb the beliefs that we start believing because this is what is told around us when we're kids. There are only the limitations that we set on ourselves. And there are very good reasons why we do that. Basically all the things that we do that are holding us back in life are things that we had to do and we had to. It was like death or life. Okay, I wanna live, I'm gonna do that thing. I'm going to betray myself, I'm going to make myself small, I'm going to pretend I don't want anything, I'm going to be the nice one who pleases everyone, I'm going to say yes to all the things I wanna say no, I'm going to say no to all the things I wanna say yes just because I want to survive. I have to do all those things to survive. And this happens as a baby and probably already even before. So. It takes time to <laughs> like clarify what is the truth and realize that all those things are just beliefs, are just illusions and lies. And also to really have this self-love to say, okay, I did all those things that I didn't want to do. Some of them, I'm ashamed of them. Some of them, I regret so much that I was the person who did that. Some of them I could cry over for the rest of my life, but if I understand that it comes from the choice that I made to be alive and I had no other option than that at that time and that's what I had to learn in order to survive, then it helps me be more compassionate with myself. And that's a super, super important thing 
that you have to practice even if it feels weird or if it feels like I can't, I don't even know how to love myself, you will find a way to that. And, and then you realize that, okay, actually I have the right to live. I have the right to live and not just survive. I have the right to enjoy. I have the right to want things, to desire things. I have the right to share. I have the right to be loved, to give love. And whatever happens around me, both matters and doesn't matter. It matters because I want beautiful experiences. I want to share with people. I want to be able to help everyone access a state where they feel good in life and where they can really because when we feel good in life, that's when we can share like the gift that we are or the gift that we have been given. It's the same. So all this matters to me. I really, really want to live a good life and share this with the people around me. But at the same time, whatever happens around me doesn't matter in the sense that now I have understood that it doesn't change my essence or the fact that I am a worthy human being worthy in the sense that I deserve love and I can always receive love and I can always give love like there was always love will always be part of my life and it's what I am and it's what I'm sharing and this cannot be affected by what is happening around me so the transformation that I want for you in your life and that I want to give you like a I don't know, a kickstart or, or a reminder or a ref refresher or a boost or whatever you want to call it. But this energy that I want to share with you, and not, it's not only me, it's the people who work with me uh, for this retreat, the photographer, the event manager, like the three of us, and probably we're going to be more than that. There will be models coming to teach you how to pose. There will be someone um, helping me with the translation because I've decided that this has to be a bilingual retreat. It has to be French and English because I can't, have access to all this knowledge and not share it in French as well. Um, so it's really to feel in your body that you have the right to be here. And not only do you have the right to be here, but you have the right to show it to the world so that this, it's even more than confidence. It's power in the positive use of power. Like this is who I am. I'm showing you who I am. This is what I can do. This is how I can change the world in my own unique way. And this, you're going to bring it to the light with the inner work and with the work with the photographer. Because when you do the photo shoot, you can start expressing things. First of all, you don't have to share those pics anywhere. So you can show whatever you want and then you can see yourself. And, you, and that's how you start bringing together the inner work and the work that you do with the photographer. So that's somehow the outer work. And that's when you bring how you feel inside up to what you look like on the outside. Or if the struggle is more like, I feel great inside, but I don't feel good on the outside. Then anyway, this is where they join in the most beautiful aligned being that is you so that's what i want to do through this retreat um yeah join join us it's gonna be beautiful really really beautiful